Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like, would like you to know at this time. Okay, let's see. Ooh, strength, Leo holding something back. What are they holding back? Hmm. They're holding back, I'm hearing, because of society. Queen of Cups is trying to pop out. We've got the Six of Cups underneath. So their true feelings, their true desires here, they're saying, would not be accepted by society, maybe the wider society that they're in, that you're in, or their immediate community. Ooh, Five of Cups reverse. So there could have been a period of separation, mourning, sadness. This is someone who's saying, I'm out of that energy now. Um, I want to focus on this special Two of Cups connection. So this is someone who feels that you are a soulmate, a twin flame possibly, whether they use that language or not. Um, but they still, even so, even though they're coming into this um, or they're in this higher vibration, focusing on the, the opportunity, the possibility, the partnership, um, they're still holding themselves back with strength here. Um, sorry about the banging next door, still having work done, getting sick of it, but you know, what can you do? Um, so this is someone who feels that you can work together, not just um, passionately, emotionally, but in a practical partnership sense as well. So whatever is the reason they're holding back, and we'll see more of this, it's definitely um, holding a lot of sway over your person, I would say. We have the Fool, Aries, Aquarius. This is someone who wants a new beginning. They're very ready emotionally to jump back into this. But look, Age of Pentacles reversed with the world in reverse. The cycle that needs to end here is the cycle of them not doing enough, giving enough, showing up enough, showing up consistently. Okay, let's see. And this is their thoughts and feelings. So this is something that they are saying. Ace of Swords. So they know, they know the reasons they're held back. Tell us more, please. What's holding this person back? I mean, strength can be the ego, but that's not the message I'm getting right now. Four of Pentacles. Something about their real truth. We have the devil, Capricorn. Okay, a couple of things. It could be what, you know, the situations they've got themselves into at the moment, responsibilities they have, and it wouldn't be right or appropriate, or they just don't have room to pursue this connection with you in the way that they want. That's their opinion right now. Um, it could be that they're saying, I hold my true self back from everybody. And if I was to show the world the sort of person I really am, I would be rejected. Um, so there could be a way they like to show up, something they like to do, a way they like to behave. Um, and it doesn't mean it's, it's terrible, it's outrageous. It could be something like, hmm, let's say this is someone who, I can't think of an example that's that might seem different but isn't you know would, wouldn't put you off because I don't think it's something that would be a deal breaker I think it I don't know let's say someone who doesn't want to have children I know I know that's not you know that's a rubbish example but bear with me let's say this is someone who doesn't want to have children they want to focus on themselves there's someone who knowingly is saying I am not selfless enough to give enough time to raising a child so I just don't want children in their particular family, friend group, community, whatever it is, if they were to say that out loud, it might be rejected or they might be made to feel that they were being selfish or something like that. But you might understand where they're coming from or you might feel the same. So there's something here where they're saying, my true self is absolutely not going to be accepted by the people around me, but what I'm reading from this energetically is that their true self is not actually doing anything extreme or crazy, if you see what I mean. Um, it's just different from what's going on around. So yeah, so they're keeping this hidden. They could be, they could have pushed it down into their shadow side. We have the moon, Pisces energy. So something about this connection, they're saying their thoughts and feelings are, you've almost unlocked this part of them and it's brought it into the light for them to see, which is obviously amazing and empowering and helps them feel that they're ready for a whole new beginning. But at the same time, it raises problems and questions with the life that they've already built, the connections they already have around them that they now realize maybe aren't in alignment with them, that they don't particularly want any more. Okay.
let's see what else their true thoughts and feelings please yeah look king of pentacles in reverse this is someone who doesn't want convention and convention is different you know <sighs> there's no one oh my goodness these message cards there is no one kind of convention that's astounded across the world everywhere you go and all, all groups of people you know but again whatever the convention is that they were raised within they're saying this is not for me but i i feel with the king of pentacles being here they've already invested in some degree in whatever this um the expected way of doing things is it's not like they're a page at this point so there is concern of how do I get out of this? How do I um, maneuver myself away from these things? Can I do that? Actually, I don't want any of these. Let's keep going. Ten of Wands. We have Justice, Libra. Mm, seven of Wands. So in the past, they've been defensive. They've pushed you away or blocked you or been so on guard that you've just maybe thought, you know what? you can keep your guard up i'm i'm not going to keep trying to knock it down anymore but yeah their honest opinion is they know more effort needs to be given to balance things out here so there is a recognition and an an acknowledgement my goodness of what you have given up until now um this fall as i said it's positive and negative this realization they've had because it it's like wow now there's the opportunity to live um, a life that actually aligns with me and makes me happy but at the same time it's it's almost a heavy burden to know this because there are certain things in the way that I have invested in that I've created okay we have judgment on the back so wanting freedom a release a new beginning we have Scorpio energy here is this the king of pen uh, wands yes I keep seeing him um as i'm shuffling so i feel this is someone who's saying i would like to switch things up i want to become a king of wands versus a king of pentacles i want to do what i want to do now because i feel inspired because i'm passionate about it and if a king of wands says they want to do something they're going to do it regardless of what anybody else thinks or says this is the energy that is pulling out this person and what's this here queen of wands there we go with the chariot poking out and look the stars reverse because you represent alignment to them you represent that ultimate goal but it's you know they're not yet moving in your direction powerfully i don't think not in the way they want to i've got aquarius here okay so let's have a look at their intentions at this time what do they intend to do about this what do they intend to do about this please With the world and justice and the judgment card, I wonder if for some of you, um, this person that you know, you're asking about your person here, if they would need to go through a divorce or quite an intense separation where there's lots of shared property, assets, children, even that sort of thing. Um, or if it could be, it could be work as well in the way with the eight of coins here. Um, and maybe they do a, a job or have a career where they can't just hand in a notice you know hand in their notice and a week later be gone could be something about moving you know a big relocation as well but either way there's a feeling of um what you have given they they you know they've not reciprocated not in a practical sense in terms of their thoughts their energy their emotions yes but not in a way that's visible for you to see okay so this person's true intentions please towards my viewer in this connection oh the devil in reverse so they do intend to try and overcome either this fear about being their true selves or the binds that they have found themselves in and it could of course be both of those okay nice good a bit of strength yes i like that Okay, we have the Six of Swords reversed. That's the Nine of Swords, sorry, um, in reverse. So not worrying, not um, being in it, being in anxiety over this, not overthinking it, not getting stuck in a place of fear and almost paralysis because of the fear. With me saying the Six of Swords, you know, what I was thinking when that came up is that they do intend to make a return to you, um, which I've seen already in the cards we first laid out. They do want a new beginning here. We have the Three of Swords, okay. 
So, yeah, some pain for sure. We have the five of coins reversed with the three of cups in reverse. If there is a third party that's in the way, and this third party could be, as I said, it could be a spouse, karmic, partner, a job, location, lack of effort. So it could have even been their own. Really? I'm so sorry about this banging. It could have been their own behavior um, that was the third party that was dragging this down and they're saying my intention is to get rid of that third party whatever this third party is for them um or whatever the third party is in your connection they intend to get rid of that but yeah five of coins reverse i'm seeing their intention is to come back towards you to um repair any damage thinking about that message card i saw you know we're both hurting from this um if you're at a distance from each other to bring you both closer together we have the ace of coins reversed so it's it's they don't want a crossover here it's i've got to free myself from these um connections i'm in or these situations or my own fear about being my true self and then i come forward with an offer so they don't want any overlap and i just feel there's been overlap in the past and that's partly what contributed to the situation that you're both in now this does feel like to me a situation where there's not much communication if any we have the tower scorpio energy yeah they intend to completely blast through these stressful thoughts they've had because they're realizing they're going around and around in circles and they're just wasting time six of pentacles in reverse again three of swords six of coins reverse three of cups there's definitely some sort of third party person situation energy belief um that's been detrimental to this connection and this this your person has realized the effect that this has had on you on this connection and they're saying right well when i come back around with this ace of coins obviously i can't do that again i wonder as well for some of you if they chose this other thing or person and they're saying they're not choosing that anymore because that could have caused this three of swords for both of you we have justice on top of justice look at their intention this is nice because today i'm seeing this is someone who has thoughts and feelings and their intentions are to act on those not just to sit here and say oh well i have these thoughts i have these desires never mind this is someone who's saying you know i really feel that i owe you some justice here and their intention is to bring about that justice good okay nice right let's get some messages start with this deck here i will say though you know of course they've the devil <laughs> maybe i shouldn't say excuse me the devil is obviously not a light easy breezy energy um i do feel they're working on figuring out removing themselves from this now at this exact time but it's not going to be done by tomorrow um which i'm sure obviously you know anyway for some of you there could be something around addiction as well because you know obviously the devil the devil has led to being unproductive in your direction i'm looking at this seven of wands and this guy is so um you know unaware of himself and what's going on he's got on these different shoes and that sort of thing so yeah they could be saying there's something i do or indulge in or overindulge in that makes me behave unlike myself and um clearly i need to pull back with that okay we have if we were intimate and i ran away please know it wasn't just you it was just super intense and awesome and i ran feeling undeserving i'll get my courage back and come back around so the devil could be talking as well about a really intense um, and strong sexual passionate connection but they weren't giving anything beyond that especially with the devil and then the ace of coins reversed um you may have thought okay it will start off being relaxed and just fun and casual and then it will naturally build into something more committed and that never happened Happen. so maybe you, you know um ended up feeling used i'm afraid you're seeing someone else i don't want to reach out and get rejected so yes if there has been um a lot of time here and no communication and they don't have much access to you because you've stopped trying to be present in their life they could definitely be wondering what your situation is um in a romantic sense okay what else please um 
Okay, I know you think your body isn't perfect, but it's heaven to me and I often think about and look forward to exploring it and how to pleasure you beyond what you've known. I want you so bad. So if you have not been intimate with this person in this way, this is definitely something that they think about. And I think they do actually imagine, are you um, with someone else? and really hate that thought so this is you know this person's definitely attracted to you and wants to explore that and if you already have obviously to do it you know to explore it again um i have some overbearing and controlling people in my life i'm afraid will try to control you too so i'm working on good boundaries and gaining respect before bringing you into this dynamic exactly that's why the devil here is is um with this ace of coins reversed i've got to get out of this first before i come forward and make this offer to you um so by not acting immediately this person could be thinking about you and not trying to sort of wreck any peace or stability or progress you're making in life as well um especially if the person around them is sort of well controlling low vibrational has insidious intentions you know they don't want to bring you into that dynamic or almost put that person onto you so now that that low vibrational person's focus is on you and yeah you, you just sort of don't even want to be in that person's awareness um okay what's on the back let's see i feel like i'm going through a major test of faith right now and i'm trying to stay positive but it's hard it just feels like life is against me but i know i'll make it across the finish line and hold you in my arms when i pass this so yeah this is someone who is is overcoming some big things but i do think they will because we have the devil with strength and strength overcomes um the devil and the second time around the devil was reversed so that hold whatever that hold is or whoever that is the the power they have over your person is lessening um also with the tower it could be that spirit's going to come in and give this person like a burst of inspiration or an idea to help them you know to push them forward because this is someone who isn't just saying oh i wish this i wish that and doing nothing to help themselves this person is helping themselves to try and move forward and when spirit sees that you know it's almost like you take two steps then you get you know spirit will take three and and it just becomes more of a team effort it's not just you by yourself but you've got to at least show you're willing you know and maybe before this person was in that five of cups upright they weren't willing they were feeling sorry for themselves spirit's not going to do it for you you know with you yes not for you but now they are they're helping themselves okay so let's go to this deck that keeps sliding on the floor and see what comes out it will be interesting to see if that damage card um comes out Hope I haven't given up on us yet. Space, I need more time to think. Yeah, this change won't happen overnight, but it is happening on you know now. Um chaser, I don't want to chase anymore. Whoa. <laughs> Reciprocity, I want to have equal give and take. So this person's used to situations, connections in which they are draining themselves and they're not getting much back, which is, you know, possibly why when you were showing up and you were giving more than you were you were taking, they didn't know what to do with that. That was just an unfamiliar dynamic. And we could think, well, even if it's unfamiliar, surely it's nice, so why can't you just accept it? Well, you know, I guess it's like when we watch people we know get into this into relationships with the same sorts of unhealthy dynamics, with the same sorts of people, because sometimes what's familiar feels better or easier than what's maybe healthier or better, you know? So even if this person liked what you were offering, the fact that you were showing up and being attentive, it was confusing. <laughs> they didn't even know how to process that. Um, so they maybe just rejected it. We have secrets. I haven't told you everything. Probably about this other controlling person or situation. I will pull a card though in a minute to see. We have escape. I left when things got hard. So yes, and I think maybe you've not seen or heard from them since, to be honest, with that space card on top. We have absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. So this space has actually been good for them, for you, maybe, hopefully for the connection. Um, because they see your true value, your worth, the fact that it's worth. Now, let me just 
go back a minute. I think they've always seen your value, but it was easier to stick with the <clears throat> um, established dynamics that they were used to in relationships, which is maybe chasing people, um, bending over backwards to be accepted, you know, jumping through hoops for people they didn't even sort of really connect with, all of that, um, than to do the inner work to align with you. But it's almost like through the absence, they've realized the thing that is more difficult than making changes in their life and within themselves is not being able to speak with you to see you to not be with you um and to to imagine you being with someone else you know um so i think that this time was necessary for them to come to this realization and to find the courage to say okay let me start looking in the mirror and addressing things and um finding the strength the courage to make these changes um yeah okay Anything else, please? Chemistry. I have never felt a passion this intense. Okay, lots of uh, lots of passion today, and I do think we're talking chemistry in a deep soul sense, but also definitely, undeniably, we're also talking about physical, lusty, sexual chemistry here. So they're very, very attracted to you and right now really thinking a lot about you in that sort of a specific way. So let me go in and see anything um, about these secrets. Hmm. So maybe the secret is, yeah, that they, they feel like you're the one for them. That they're sorry potentially for dragging you into a third party situation or bringing in a third party or hurting you okay secrets i haven't told you everything knight of cups so the secrets are probably secrets you'd enjoy hearing they have these romantic feelings i think they were scared in the past and they were stubborn aries energy there yeah and then they ran so this person's big secret is that they're fully aware now they see themselves in a new way and their behavior in a new way and, and they know that they shut this down before it had a chance to grow they were stubborn unyielding and then they just left possibly for some of you even ghosted you okay so let's get some final messages from this deck and move into guidance and advice you are irreplaceable for some of you i think they probably thought they could replace you um i just have to do something else right now please try and understand is it possible to forgive and forget? No, I don't think so. Not from what I'm seeing. I think there has to be an acknowledgement actually of things maybe that have happened here. I thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. And I feel like it's through not knowing what to say because they know you're not going to accept them just popping up and pretending the past never happened. Um, but also I think they're stopping themselves in a very practical way because they don't want to drag you into anything um, that they're a part of that's not particularly nice. Um, I can't take this anymore. So the distance, the silence, I can still feel you. I'm more affected than you know. Yeah, especially if they come off blasé, you know, oh, let's just forgive and forget. It's not a big thing. It actually is, and they know it too. Yeah, I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. And this is in line with these two justice cards. So this person is hugely aware of um, how they showed up and, and what they did and didn't bring. Right, let's get some guidance and advice. Ooh, the situation will improve. Nice, okay. Anything else? Nope, not from this deck. Okay, let's have a look at this deck here. There we go. We have the number 37, no rain today. And that feels pretty good, like the sun is coming out here. Um, we have a ballet dancer, we've got rain, we've got uh, 
clouds, the sun, Leo energy, in case any of these things are relevant or confirmation. Um, let me see what the book says about this. So the number 10, 3, 7 um, could be important. 1, 0, 1 and 0 definitely need beginnings. Uh, okay, let's see. Comfort, positive view of life, energy, and shine. In this card, we see the sun banishing a crying cloud. There will be no rain today. The sun gives warmth and comfort. Her rays grant life and strength. They chase away grief and loss. On dark days, turn your face toward the sun and let the shadows fall behind you. Slip on your dancing shoes, if only for a moment, and let the energy move through your body. Surround yourself with positive, happy people to foster an environment where you can shine. Wow, look at that. These cards are great together. So we've got improvement here the sun is about rebirth renewal abundance um i'm really interested as well in the fact that the sun is referred to as a she in this deck and we tend to think of the sun in tarot as being the masculine energy so something's flipping on its head here and it could be that this person's coming forward now to give more um than you are at this time because again this focus is on balancing things out it's something they want to do Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here. Thank you so much for being here, for bearing with the background noise. Um, and I hope it was helpful. I hope there were some messages for you. And hopefully I'll see you for our Twin Flame reading tomorrow. Okay, bye.